good morning students welcome to your english lesson today we are going to have another revision and in today's revision we are going to study prepositions i know you all have already studied preposition but today it's going to be a lot different today i'm going to have an activity with you all i'm going to have a presentation and i'm going to have a bit of singing so you all are excited i hope you all are ready because right in the beginning we are going to have one activity so what i want you all to do is i want you all to pick up anything maybe a pencil or uh, maybe a, a fruit maybe an apple <laughs> so whatever is close to you just pick up any one thing okay this activity is with regard to the grammar topic of prepositions i'm going to sing a song and you have to sing along with me and we are going to play with this one thing that i have asked you all to pick up okay so let's start our preposition lesson prepositions so children today we are going to enjoy the topic of prepositions with the help of a song have you heard the song if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands so we are going to sing the same song but we will sing different words the words will be about about our thing which we are holding okay the words will be about positions about prepositions okay so this boy over here in this picture can is seen to be holding play doh children play doh is like clay when you all were small you all used to play with clay right children see he is playing over here with the clay so similarly you all are going to hold that thing maybe an apple maybe a pencil maybe a book like this boy is holding and you are going to move it uh, as the ma as ma'am is singing the song you are going to change the position of the thing okay whatever i am singing in the song you have to place the thing over there only so let's i'll be singing you'll have to change the position very fast okay children uh, you have to be really quick then only you're going to have fun okay so i'm going to start singing and you are going to change the position of the thing accordingly okay put your play doh in your hand in your hand put your play doh in your hand in your hand put your play doh in your hand for the song that we have planned put your play doh in your hand in your hand very good let's change the position put your play doh on your head on your head put your play doh on your head on your head put your play doh on your head standing up look straight ahead put your play doh on your head on your head could you balance that book on your head children next put your play doh next to you next to you put your play doh next to you right next to you children put your play doh next to you get your friend to do it too mama can also do it put your play doh next to you next to you put your play doh underneath underneath where underneath maybe a table children put your play doh underneath underneath put your play doh underneath can you cover what's beneath put your play doh underneath underneath hold your play doh up above up above raise your hand come on hold your play doh up above up above hold your play doh up above singing song is what we love hold your play doh up above up above hold your play doh down below down below toes children next to the toes hold your play doh down below down below hold your play doh down below can it really touch your toe hold your play doh down below down below well done i think you'll have exercised enough you'll have really enjoyed the song y'all can continue listening to this song and enjoying the song after the class as well so basically children we were doing positions next to underneath up above so we were doing position words these position words are called prepositions what are prepositions 
Prepositions are words that we use before noun or pronouns to show their relationship with other words in a sentence. Basically, prepositions are showing us children location, direction and time. Right children? We come to know everything. Like see this example children. I am sitting on a chair. So chair is the noun and on. The word on children, look at it carefully, is telling us where we are sitting. It's telling the relation of the noun, the chair with the other words. And if you see the second example, I am walking to her. So it's telling us the direction with, the, with relation to the pronoun her. So, to and on are prepositions. They are telling us location, direction, time, right? Now, children, sometimes it's telling location, right? These are used to indicate the location or position of objects. What kind of prepositions tell us the location, children? On. It is placed on something. In. Under, in front of, among, between. All these are prepositions. See children? On. The apple is on the table. In front of. Rohan is in front of Mohan. Again. See standing against that wall children and hiding from that dog. Inside. In the house. Under the table. All these are prepositions. Easy children, they are telling us the location. Where is the position? Under the table, on the table, in front of, inside, against. Now again seems to be a new word. Let's see what it is. Against children, if you see in this picture, that boy is against the wall, hiding from the dog. So what is the meaning of against? Next to something. Taking the support of something, children. So the boy is taking the support of the wall and next to the wall. The boy is leaning against the wall. I am leaning against the whiteboard. Understood the children? Understood children the meaning of against? Now some new prepositions. Beside. See those two cats beside each other, next to each other. Behind. That big cat is behind the small cat. Between. The big cat is between the two small cats. Among. So the boy is standing among the other children. So basically in between of the other children. All these are prepositions. Preposition of direction. Sometimes children preposition tell us direction and they tell us for the movement. Basically direction meaning children from one place to another place. So it is telling us the movement. Which are, which are the prepositions children? To, from, into, along, over, through, across, around. Remember children all these colorful words over here are prepositions and you can use them. I am walking to school. Can you see the arrow children? The boy is walking to school. Isn't it showing direction? He is going in the direction of the school. So this too is the preposition. Richard came into the room. Can you see the direction children? He has come inside the room, right? Into the room. So, preposition. Into seems to be a different word. It is basically showing children movement. You saw this Richard's movement? Like that. The cat jumped into the box. So, you can see the cat's movement from the table into the box. The, boy, the ball fell into the river. So, all these are... Words are showing us movement. So basically they are preposition. She has returned from town. So if you see the town is right behind over there children. See the colorful buildings. And now she's come home. So direction. They walked along the row of houses. So they are walking along these different houses. So prepositions. The boy ran across the road. Across meaning children? From one side to the other side. Across means to the opposite side. So these are all prepositions. 
the boy swam across the pond that is towards the other side of the pond they are running around the tree around children there is a circular motion can you see the arrows children circular motion moving in a circle the cat ran around the stool chasing the mouse so all these are children telling us position right children they are telling us where is the thing in what direction is the thing so these words are called preposition another thing that is highlighted by preposition is time they show us when things happen by for before after since at during all these are also prepositions now we have studied enough about prepositions right children so let's play a game so children i hope you all enjoyed the uh, explanation about prepositions have you all understood everything let's check it we are going to have a game now uh, there is this uh, boy named tim and he has lost his dog can you help him find him he just can't find the dog and the, he has a very big house the dog is lost in the house so you are going to give me the answers are you going to help ma'am let's see so children can you see tim standing over there he is so confused and he has to find his dog his house is really big would you like to take a tour of the house before that let me tell you the name of the dog is max we are going to have a game on preposition by the game uh, by the game where is the dog max we are going to find max over here now let's go ahead max has gone on an adventure all around the house his owner tim needs you to help him find max when you see max tell tim where he is make sure you use the right words to describe where max is i want you to say the preposition loudly to help tim find max can you see max children well i can't see him anywhere oh yes you are right Max is standing on the sofa. Can you see Max children? I need a preposition. Yes, Max is standing beside the table. Can you see Max children? Come on, come on. It's very easy. Yes. Max is under the bed. Can you see Max children? This one is a difficult one. But I know you all are going to get it. Max is in the bath or in the bathtub. Can you see Max children? Max is in front of the tree. Right children? Can you see Max children? very naughty this max dog is so you are helping tim a lot max is behind the car very good children can you see max children yes come on tell me the answer max is between the table and the chair oh this one is a complicated one children can you see max i can't find him Oh you all are quite bright. Max is inside the shopping bag. He is a very smart dog. Can you see Max children? Yes, Max is outside the house. Can you see Max children? He is roamed the entire house children. Max is next to the sink, next to the basin. Well done students you were able to help Tim find Max during his adventure all around the house see Tim is thanking you all thanks for your help well done students did you all enjoy the game children i hope you all enjoyed it now we are going to sing a song okay you all are going to sing along with me 
So we are going to sing about prepositions and after this I am going to uh, forward you a worksheet, a very interesting worksheet. And you know something? Max is also there in the worksheet. So you are going to complete the worksheet and keep it safely with the other worksheet, English worksheets of yours. And keep it very nicely children, complete the worksheet nicely. I am going to share the answer key as well. I hope you all enjoyed the lesson and go enjoy the song now. Preposition It's your ambition To tell me, tell me, tell me Exactly my position could be on the couch or outside my house Am I across the street or within your reach? I could go up the stairs or fall off my chair It's your ambition 